What's going on guys? So it's the morning of the Pride Parade. It's about an hour before kickoff. And it's this is the first year that we are live broadcasting um, KABC. Local news is gonna be live broadcasting. You guys have probably seen Carl before. Uh, we did an interview on, on one of my vlogs and he's gonna be reporting live as well. So I think I'm gonna see him here in a minute, but yeah, so I'm just, I just got some Sharpies. I'm gonna draw some stuff on my chest and my back for the float. Then I'm gonna head over to AHF and get ready. Hello. Look oh, who it is. In the shadows. Um, <laughs> we're gonna interview you when uh, your float comes down because you were oh. on television last night. I was? You were. You were on our Pride oh, preview special. This is all new to me. And I don't know you did great. Right. So <laughs> get up there and get on your float and okay. come down and talk to when you're. Wait, so when it's here, I'm gonna get off? Uh, yeah, well, I'll, we'll find you and grab you. Okay. What's up, fam? Hey! It's Happy Pride. Pride! We're here before the parade. We're getting ready. This is Carl, as you obviously Carl. know. Very serious ABC7 reporter. This is the first time we're live broadcasting, huh? In 49 years, yes. I have to go though because they're about to talk in my ears. Oh, okay. So, Bye. I'll see you in a bit. All right. The first time I ever went to a parade was actually Long Beach, and I was actually on um, a float for that too. It was for an organiz organization called Empower OC, and it was it was geared towards 18 to I think 24 year old males. Um, and it was about like STI awareness and HIV AIDS prevention, ironically, and that, I volunteered with them. So it's interesting that this many years later, as I'm on a float again, this time I'm coming from the perspective of someone who is living with HIV and sharing that. So we're just about entering the start of the parade. And now I can see all the floats and things that are lined up and ready to go. So check that out. What's up? <laughs> I know, I need to get a picture of you. I don't wanna waste my time. So baby, we should start living now. Hey guys, so I'm here with Karen. Yo! I strong little message on my chest. A great message. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it's probably going to be really meaningful to people who are watching who have HIV and don't necessarily see representation. There's a lot of like HIV advocates, but not necessarily people with HIV saying, I have HIV, I'm healthy and I'm good. I'm excited to show you. Alright, so we are on the AHF float and we're getting ready. DJ, and then we're just waiting our turn to go in the parade. There we go. Just wrapped up the parade. It's now like I think after three. It officially started at eleven, and now it's after three. I'm so tired. I haven't eaten anything yet or drank, so I'm gonna go home since I live nearby and just eat right away. All right, so I was going through. Um, the footage for Pride and I was editing and I realized that I never really summed up the day so I wanted to um, at least reflect on that. Uh, 
Because AHF's float was so far back in the lineup for the parade, um, we didn't get to the broadcasting area for KABC until like three, four hours later, and by then the broadcast had finished and we never got to um, interview with Carl, so that was unfortunate. We were, Carl and I were both bummed about that, so that wasn't able to happen, but I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more opportunities in the future. And I got such good response from you guys on Instagram uh, regarding my post from that day. I shared kind of my experience being on the AHF bus and seeing reactions from people in the parade, and which were by and large like 90, 95% really positive responses, people were thankful, people were shocked, people were just showing love. It was just really like a really cool moving experience and I'm excited to do it again for World Pride in New York. At the end of June, AHF is gonna be flying me out there so I'm gonna be a part of that. So definitely looking forward to that and of course I'm gonna cover that as well and hopefully get a lot of cool content just from, I mean it's New York. <laughs> I've only been there once. I think when I was 20 or 21 just to go see a Broadway show and that was it. I didn't really get to experience much else outside of that. So I'm super excited about that. Oh yeah, and I clearly didn't wear sunscreen on that day. I know that's so basic, but um, I, I knew I wanted to write on my chest and my back and I was concerned that maybe if I had sunscreen on, it wouldn't hold or it would smudge or like rub off. So, and I didn't think we were gonna be out there for as long as we were. I thought maybe maybe a couple hours, but it ended up being that I was on the float for five hours and I knew halfway through, I was like, I'm gonna burn. <laughs> so this next time I'm definitely gonna um, write on my chest and my back, but I'm gonna bring sunscreen, like probably the spray on kind to put that on after. So I'll have my bases covered. <laughs> but you can see I'm starting to peel. I was, I was so burnt. And then the areas where I had writing you can see it didn't tan, so I just have like the writing still on my body. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and seeing a little bit of my experience for LA Pride. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.